Hello everyone, I'm Kelsey Lemon, Technical Marketing Manager here at VMware, and I want to welcome you to the Day 2 Mastery Series, where we look at specific features and workflows that allow you to get the most out of the service. Now in this episode, I'm going to show what you can do with the Skyline Collector, which is a virtual appliance that gathers and sends key information related to product configuration, feature usage, performance, and environment changes to VMware for analysis. So if you're interested in learning more about how to optimize its configuration, manage passwords, or install updates, this session is the one for you. So let's get the conversation started by asking the question, why is getting to know the collector important for anyone who uses the Skyline service? Now, for context, let's take a look at this high-level diagram that shows a basic configuration of the Skyline service. The findings and recommendations that are reported through the advisor come from the collector that collects key data relating to usage, performance, and configuration from the endpoints that it monitors. So now that you know what the collector does, how can you leverage it? Well, in a nutshell, you can use it to monitor system status and change configurations. So let's take a look at each of these tasks. As far as status monitoring goes, you can see collector status, stop and start collectors, restart endpoints, and you can even view logs. And when it comes to optimizing configurations, you can edit and add endpoints, enable hostname verification and proxy, enable collector auto upgrade, change collector names, enable Active Directory, and even change collector passwords. And these tasks are important because doing them effectively will allow you to monitor and restore the health of your environment as well as expand the amount of protective surface area that Skyline covers when it monitors your environment. Now for the demo. To access the Skyline Collector interface, you'll need to open a web browser and enter the fully qualified domain name or IP address for the collector. And if you don't know what those are, you can attain them within your vSphere client. And when prompted, enter a username and password that was set as part of your initial configuration of the service. Now once you're in the collector service, you'll be able to do the key things that I mentioned earlier. Monitor system status and optimize service configurations. Under system status, you'll be able to see the status of your collector as well as stop and restart it. You'll be able to see the product endpoints that you currently have configured. Now in this example, I have endpoints for vCenter Server, NSX Manager, and vRealize Operations. And as I click on each one of them, I see the status of each endpoint. I can even restart them if needed, as well as see their latest logs. And as I move over to the Configuration tab, you'll see that I can edit existing product endpoints or even add new ones. Now in this example, I don't have endpoints for Horizon View configured, but I can add them when I leverage that product. I can also make additional configuration changes to the collector as well. I can enable hostname verification or even enable proxy settings. Now, if you recall my diagram earlier, the Skyline collector uploads encrypted data for product use to VMware by using the internet. So if your organizations require it, an HTT proxy server can be configured between the Skyline collector and the internet. Another important thing to note is that you can also enable its auto upgrade feature. If an update is available, the Skyline Collector supports the ability to upgrade automatically. Auto upgrade checks for and install updates to the Skyline Collector at a specific time and day of the week that you specify. But if you choose not to enable auto upgrade, I'll show you how to upgrade to the latest version via the VMware Appliance Management Interface, or VAMI, a bit later in this demo. You can also use the interface to create a user-friendly name for the Skyline Collector for ease of troubleshooting. If you've seen our BreakFix webinars, we talk about the importance of giving the Collector a name that will make it easier for VMware Global Services to communicate information about that Collector with you. 
and this is where you can create and modify that collector name. And for those of you who are wondering if Skyline supports Active Directory, you'll be happy to know that Active Directory can be enabled here to allow access for specific Active Directory users and groups to the Skyline Collector user interface. Now, as you know, Active Directory allows for more granular access control to the user interface and restricts the number of individuals that need to know the admin user account details. Along those same lines of controlling access, you can also establish a trusted connection to the Skyline Collector user interface by replacing the default SSL certificate for the Skyline Collector application with a custom one. The custom certificate is signed by the certificate authority available on the parent Active Directory or on the intermediate Active Directory. Now, before I move over to the Collector VAMI, I want to show how you can change a collector password and set expiration policies. If you enable password expiration, you can set a length of time that is active before you are required to change it. And if you want to change the password altogether, you can do that here as well by selecting the admin account at the top right of the Skyline Collector user interface. And when the drop down menu appears, select change password. And with that, you know, this is a perfect segue to talk about how to manually update the collector. As you can see, there is a new version of the collector available, but auto upgrade was not enabled. So I'm going to begin the process by selecting the manual upgrade option that will redirect me to the collector's VAMI. And after I log in, I'm going to cycle through the various tabs, going from system to network to update. And once there, I can check for the latest collector update. And once it's found, I'll accept the EULA to begin the upgrade process. And once the upgrade process is completed, and after the system has been rebooted, I can see that the latest collector is now installed. And with that, this concludes the latest episode of the Day 2 Mastery Series. I hope you found it informative. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and be on the lookout for live webinars where you can ask me and the rest of the Skyline team, questions about the service.